I thought we're done with Great Force. Bushi, what is this? This video is sponsored by Phoenix Ferro Cards. If you need supplies of singles or splits for Carfight Vanguard, especially the ones in the video, do check out Phoenix Ferro Cards today. And as a bonus, use the promo code MetaNerd to get an amazing 5% discount. And with that being said, let's get on with the video. Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the MetaNerd channel. I am Marcus, bringing you another video for Carfight Vanguard World Dress. In this video, we'll be going through the all new Grade 4 Drajul that we never see it coming for some reason. So, we were expecting Unison Dress to be a thing for the newer boss unit being Leonorn, Drodruid as well as Yufberg. Apparently not. They decided to give Drodruid a grade 4 form. Not that I'm complaining, it's just that... Why? In any case, of course, the new grade 4 Drodruid is going to shake up the meta quite a bit, but at the same time, I don't think it will. He basically does almost the same thing it's just with an added more power as well as some other skills that we will talk about later without further ado let's take a look at what new draw jewel as well as the support card surrounding it brings to the table first off of course is going to be the great for jojo himself demonic jewel true dragon draw ignis yeah that's a pretty name. Continuous, this card can only be ridden from a unit with Drajuot in its card name. Second skill, auto Vanguard Circle. At the beginning of your battle phase, choose two cards from your drop and put them into soul. Then, if your soul has four or more cards with different grades, all of your front row unit gets 15k power until the end of turn. Third skill, auto Vanguard Circle. When this ability's cost would be paid, a card with Drajuot in its card name in your soul may be soul blast as any grade from 0 to 4. When this unit attack costs soul blast five cards with different grades, retire all of your opponent's back row rearguard circle until end of turn this unit gets critical plus one and increase or decrease the power of all your opponent's front row units to zero so with this being a great four he essentially has all of the great four attributes the triple drive the great four as well as the restriction to you know turn four right because he's a great four and there's currently no superior right mechanic with four george at the moment etc etc the first continuous is basically restrict it's basically a restriction to restrict this george to only be played inside a draw jewel deck which i think is a very plausible restriction because imagine this in any other deck except draw jewel <laughs> you're gonna be so disgusting similar to draw jewel mass he could basically put two cards from the drop and put them into the soul at the beginning of battle phase which i think is very very nice this skill does not really cost anything this skill does not cost anything you just go into battle phase and then you just put two cards from the drop zone to soul and that's it and if your soul has four or more different grades all of a fern will get 15k power is something to be afraid of because george at this point has never give the front row this much power except of course personal writing but then again this is 15k to both himself and the front row which is five K more. It's just brutal. And not only that, Ignis here is able to convert any Drajuo cards in the soul to be any grade between 0 and 4 is just really nice to ease up the cost of soul blasting 5 different grades. It basically gives more value in you recycling a Drajuo from the drop to soul or just keep rewriting on top of the grade for Drajuo. While yes, you don't get the personal right. I mean, if you get the personal right, it's just gonna be stupid. It's basically a lot of skills added to this one card, which I am definitely very very happy about. Of course, I am not really happy that they designed this many skills for Drajua Ignis, but Unrivaled Bruce is only like that two skills. The full back row retire is a nice bonus. It's not the best retiring skill that we have because decks nowadays don't really have a back row unless of course you're counting the Cater Sanctuary decks or Stoikea decks then maybe they have a back row but still retiring the back row isn't really that prevalent I would say and of course it does bypass his resist which is quite disgusting provided if you're able to move one of the front row that has resist to the back row then yeah it's really really good but still at this point since we don't have that it's okay the back row retiring skill is just a bonus not really that great like any drudge that we have so far it has the Drajuot core skill where it decreased the opponent's vanguard power to one but in this case it is decreasing the power to zero very scary actually what this means is that it basically forces a 5k more shield in terms of when you're attacking for similar power for example if the opponent somehow gets a trigger he will be at 10k base instead of 10k and one what this means is that you can just attack into the opponent vanguard with a 10k base rearguard without any power boost and the 
opponent will still need to throw down a 5k shield. As opposed to if Jarjuald is reducing the opponent's power to 1, they don't have to discard because it's 10k and 1. The 1 to 0 is actually quite significant. Very disgusting. And of course, since this has a triple drive, whenever Igni's attack is just going to be an Elementaria Sanctitude Magnet. <laughs> so there's really nothing much change in terms of how Igni's work. It's basically just like one big Vanguard attack while reducing the opponent's power, while at the same time having the retire as a bonus. Let's take a look at what the other supports that Drodruel received for DVD 13. It's actually a whole new deck. First off, we have a great one, Horde slash Draco Kid. Although when this unit is placed on Rhaegar Circle, Continuous, Cost, Candle Blast 1, look at the top 7 cards of your deck, choose up to 1 great 4 cards with Drodruel in its card name from among them, reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle the deck. If you did not reveal a card, choose up to 1 great 4 from your hand, reveal it. If you reveal a card, or you have a great 4 or greater Vanguard with Drodruel in its card name, draw a card. So, uh, Bushi wrote where are the cards like these for the other grade 4 bosses? This card basically is a consistency unit to get Ignis to the hand, which is the grade 4. This deck revolves around you needing to have a grade 4 in the hand very badly. If you don't have a grade 4 in your hand, you are screwed in this deck. Sure, you can wait till turn 3 or turn 4 to hopefully draw into the grade 4, but there's always a chance that you might not get the grade 4 into your hand, which will basically shut off a lot of the support skill. This card helps with that. Counter Blast 1 to check the top 7 for Ignis is not the greatest consistency, but still it is a decent consistency to get Ignis into the hand. Even if you don't get Ignis from the top 7, and if you have grade 4 Ignis in your hand, once again, you are still able to draw a card if you do have the grade 4 in your hand, which is quite nice. Very straightforward card. It's not the greatest, but still it does help with the consistency of the deck as a general. Because of course, definitely you will want to ride into Ignis as soon as possible. And of course, you will want Ignis to be in the drop zone to be then put into the soul because Drodruel Ignis is a Drodruel. With his own skill, you are able to manipulate the grades anyway in the soul. So he's not going to be a four off in a Drodruel deck, but he is going to be a very, very nice card to run in order for consistency. That's basically it. After you get one grade four out from the deck, he's basically dead and you don't want to use his skill ever again. Next, we have a grade two, Demonic Lancer of Soul Extermination Zagan. Although when this unit is placed on Rhaegar Circle during your main phase, you may so charge one. Choose up to one grade four from your hand and reveal it. If you reveal a card or you have a grade four or greater Vanguard with Drodruel in its card name, choose up to one card with different card name from this unit and grade less than or equal to your Vanguard from your soul and call it a Rhaegar Circle. At the end of that turn, put that unit into soul. Second skill, continuous Rhaegar Circle. If you have a Vanguard with Drodruel in its card name, this unit gets boost. A grade two booster that is active whenever you ride into any Drodruel is quite nice, I would say, because the deck tends to have a lot of grade twos and not enough of grade ones with them giving this kind of great two that can boost is super super nice the soul charge one on this card is actually optional you don't have to soul charge one in order to even superior call something from the soul is really really good basically gives you more control over what goes into the soul he's able to call anything except himself of course from the soul is definitely nice this allows you to kind of recycle some of your combo pieces or you can just push out for more aggression because since you will only need a great four in your hand for him to activate the skill Starting from turn 2, you can just call him down to superior cost something from the soul and then just rush the opponent down. So long as you have a great 4 Drajuot in your hand. So... I mean, you, you just need a grade 4 in your hand and you're basically good to go. Very nice grade 2 card and this card will for sure be a stapler card inside the new Drodruid. Actually, any Drodruid for that matter. <laughs> Even for Drodruid, Mass is able to use this card. Very disgusting. Next is the grade 1, Wise Demonic Lordling Vapula. Auto Rhaegar Circle. When you Soul Blast 4 or more cards at the same time for the cost of your Vanguard's ability, cost put this unit into the soul and draw a card. Then choose up to one grade 4 card from your hand and reveal it. If you reveal a card or have a grade 4 or greater Vanguard with Drajuot in its card name, choose one of your rearguards and if your rearguard did not stand by a card's ability this turn, stand it. This card is basically a replacement for Empuza depending on how you look at it. This guy here and Empuza function almost the same way. When you are soul blasting 4, you can basically just re-stand something else or Empuza herself. Of course, this card is slightly more restrictive because once again, the emphasis on you needing to have a grade 4 in your hand to reveal in order to even activate the skill. Yeah. Do you see the pattern of this deck? <laughs> this card turns any attacker to be a restander after, of course, the Drajuot attack because the only time that you are able to Soul Blast 4 is basically after Drajuot attack. So yeah, it's a very nice skill. This basically
basically means that on turn three you are able to still attack for four times i mean at the moment we are still able to attack for four times so nothing much has really changed <laughs> depends on how you want to build your deck it's either you run this card or run empuza but running both empuza as well as this card here isn't impossible you could still run them together but keep in mind here is that you're gonna clash in terms of this great one as well as empuza because both cards need to check if your rearguards did not stand by a card's ability so be very careful in terms of deck building as well as executing your combo turn it's very important the best thing about this card is that he goes to soul and draws you a card which empuza technically is doing it's just that the difference here between this guy and empuza is that empuza dies instead of going into the soul to recycle whatever is in your soul to the hand whereas this guy here just draws you a random card but of course he does goes to soul which can be recalled with zagan the previous grade 2 that we talked about provided you keep calling zagan provided you keep calling zagan to call vapula out of course it still depends on how your hand looks like you might not want to call vapula you might want to call something like rock agur very nice grade 1 card and yeah this grade 1 card is just really amazing and that is all for this video do let me know down in the comment section of what do you think of the whole drudgewood ignis i think it's a really good upgrade it's not as tight of a space as compared to drudgewood mass because of all the dragon tree stuff that you need to put in as well as you know the og drudgewood it's gonna take a lot of space to run drudgewood this i think does provide a much more flexibility in terms of how you build the deck but still at the same time he does not really bring anything new to the table he's just how he is there's really nothing new don't take offense it's just my opinion that there's really nothing new do like and subscribe if you like this video and of course during the bell notification icon so that you don't miss a video i upload with that being said i'll see you all on the field even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go 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 go